Today we're at the beach cooking with a tandoori oven and Alex is going to tell us a little bit about what this crazy thing does. This is a tandoori oven that we built out in front of this house. It follows the basic design of a tandoori oven which has been around for thousands of years. You have examples of these in ancient Rome, in the Middle East, basically all over the old world. And so the idea is you start a fire at the bottom and because of the shape of this uh, cylinder, because it narrows at the top, you actually you get more heat at the very top, close to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And so what you can do with this is you can hang skewers vertically down into the opening and cook them that way. And at the same time, you can actually put bread on uh, the clay sides of this, right on the wall. And it bakes right on the side of the wall and then you pull it off and it's ready to go. And uh, this is the kind of thing you see used in Indian restaurants, Middle Eastern restaurants. The way that we use this particular one is we hang the skewers from a metal cross that we position in these openings here and put a lid over it and we wait. This thing is very heavy. It probably weighs close to three quarters of a ton. And so it takes a lot of heat to heat it up to the point where it's ready to cook. Once you get it going, it's pretty cool and uh, definitely a unique way to grill meat. The first step is to cut up the meat into pieces so that you can skewer them and then you marinate it and put it in the fridge for about an hour. So now we're cutting up boneless chicken thighs. Next we have veal and we're gonna add salt, black pepper, some olive oil, thyme, garlic powder and other spices to taste. We're also adding beer and lime to tenderize it. We're gonna skewer salmon as a whole, so we've added some spices for it to marinate. We also have shrimp that we peeled and added some spices to it as well. And then we're gonna try to grill the rack of lamb as a whole. Now we're starting the fire while the meat is marinating in the fridge. So right now what we're doing is we're burning some wood in this thing just to get the whole oven warm. It's somewhat inefficient but because this thing is so massive it takes a lot of fuel just to get it up to the right temperature. After this we're actually going to put the coal in. Now that the coal is almost ready, we're gonna skewer the chicken and all the meat and seafood that we have. We're just waiting about 15 more minutes for the coal to be completely white hot and the fire to die down. We're putting the lid on but we're leaving ventilation at the bottom so that the heat spreads evenly. So we're finally ready to cook. We're gonna start with chicken kebabs. It's, it's usually better to, to actually grip it by the meat. The chicken's been cooking for about five minutes. 
it's still a little bit too tender for our taste so we're gonna keep it on for about two more minutes and now it's ready to go we're gonna take it out and cover it up in the foil so that it keeps warm while we're cooking other food next up is veal we're gonna grill it for about five to seven minutes covered as well and then we'll check on it and see if it needs additional time so it looks ready because it's charred and feels not too tender so we're gonna take it off and cover it in foil as well to keep warm now we're grilling salmon which is gonna be amazing and we're gonna give it about 10 minutes and check if the fat is coming out that means that it's ready to go and it's cooked through we decided to keep it on for a couple more minutes just to make sure that it's cooked through and it's ready to go now it looks charred and beautiful so we're gonna take it out and cover it up up next is a rack of lamb which we've never done before so we decided to try and cook this we secured it with some foil on the bottom so that it doesn't slide off and we'll see what happens and it looks like it's cooking beautifully in the tandoori oven the only thing is because the fat is dripping it's getting a lot more charred than we expected so we pulled it up a little higher so that it receives less heat and doesn't get on fire as much and it's finally done after about 10 minutes last but not least are the shrimps portobello mushrooms and corn that we're gonna cover in foil and throw in the coal now that the coal is not as hot it's not gonna burn we covered it and gave it about 5 minutes and we're ready to take it off the grill 